Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to use bead tips. They're a wonderful little finding whenever you need to finish the ends of beads that are on thread. So these are bead tips and they're the perfect way to finish a piece of strung jewelry when you're using something that you wouldn't want to use with crimps. Something like silk thread or nylon monofilament thread or a fine cord that you'd be afraid the crimps might damage. And what these are, they have a little clamshell shape that closes up and there's a loop. Now these have a loop on each side. Sometimes there's just a piece of wire that comes up and then you bend it down for your loop. And in the hinge there's a hole and that is for your cord to pass through. So here I have some silk cord and I've threaded it onto a needle so that I can get it through. So when you start your piece of jewelry, you're going to thread your cord end through the clamshell from the outside to the inside. And then you're going to tie knots and however many you need depends on the thickness of your cord. But what we want is for the knot to be thick enough so that it won't go through that hole. And see like that just popped through. So I need to make another knot. And you just make them on top of each other, stacking them on each other. And if you have trouble placing your knot, you can put an awl right in there. So as you pull it closed, it'll be exactly where you want it. So there, so you know, after two knots, that's not pulling through. So then you trim off your excess cord and then use a little strong glue like E6000. You can use super glue, but E6000 is nice because it's flexible when it's dry. You can take a toothpick and just put a dab of your glue in there. And then all you do is fold that closed. And now you have your cord end. You have a loop to attach a chain or other findings. So then you string on your beads or you do your pearl knotting or whatever it is you're going to do. And then at the other end, in this case, I would thread it back on the needle, thread it from the outside to the inside through the hinge, and knot it in the same way. And that is how you use bead tips to finish up the ends of strung jewelry.